find the area of this shaded region here. All right. Now let's look at each one of these sides. This side is 22 long. This side is 17. This side is the same as this one over here. It's also 22. The side up here is 5. This side is the same as this side, so they're both 4. This side is 4, but I don't know how long this is from here to here. Okay? So let's uh, look at this a little bit. If I, 17 goes all the way across this, okay? In other words, 4 and then our unknown length and our 5. When I add those together, I'll get 17. So let's take the 17 and get rid of the 4, subtract out 4. Okay, we'll get rid of this 4 and then we'll get rid of the, we'll subtract the what, the 5. And that's going to be this length right here. All right. Now 17 minus 4 is 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. So now we know how long it is from here to here. It's 8 yards. Let's label that. All right. Uh, now we want the area. Okay. So let's take the area of this whole rectangle right here. Okay. Take the area, not just of. Um, the shaded region but let's do the let's do the, all of it from it's a 22 by 17 isn't it and then later on we'll, we'll cut out this part of it right here we'll cut out that part and then we'll have the area of the shaded region okay so we start off with all of it okay so we'll have 22 times 17 and then we'll cut out this part of it right here we'll cut out that so I'll have my 22 by 17 then I'll subtract out this what how long is this this is 4 and we know this is 8 so we start off 22 times 17 subtract out a 4 by 8 so we're getting uh, 374 yards for these two minus 4 times 8 for a um, the area of the shaded region now uh, will be 32 from 374 will be 342 square yards.